Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gabe and this is Games with Gabe and this is the next episode in the Game Engine series. This episode is really just serving to tell you to go check out the font rendering series at this point. I'm starting a font rendering series because I feel like that's the next logical step for our game engine and font rendering is such a huge topic that I thought it'd be a disservice just to sort of cram it into the game engine series. So instead what I'm going to do is dedicate a whole series just to that, maybe four or five episodes. We're going to go over bitmap rendering, which is like the most traditional form of font rendering. We're going to go over SDFs, which are sign distance fields, and they're like a little bit more of a step up from bitmap rendering with some other trade-offs. And then lastly, we're going to go over parsing TTF files manually and then using the Bezier curve data in there to write custom shaders and stuff, which also has some trade-offs. But it will be interesting to see how all these different methods work so that you guys can choose which one you like the best and which one you would want to use for the engine. So I'll show you real quick the little demos that I have for each of these. SDFs are the only one that I haven't actually implemented myself yet. But for bitmap rendering, we will be creating a giant texture using Java that looks something like this, where basically we just have all of the drawable characters or glyphs. And then using this texture, we can just sort of perform a manual texture lookup, upload this to the GPU, and then sample from whichever character we are trying to draw. And then the second method that we're going to take a look at, which is using the Bezier curve data, will basically use a custom shader. And I have a little demo here. And you can see that we can draw all the letters. But what's interesting about this is this is not resolution dependent. So when I make this bigger, you'll notice that this did not blur it's still pixel perfect. And that's just because of the way we're using the Bezier curve data instead of using a fixed font size from an image. So this will scale infinitely up and down and it's interesting. And if we can get this right, I'm still doing some optimizations and stuff, then it will actually take up less memory than it would to upload an actual texture, which is also interesting, but it's slower and I'm trying to speed it up to see if this could be a viable solution. So we will see about this. We will also be looking at the different metrics involved with font rendering. So you can see here, this is a website that is uh, pretty old, but it has some useful information on fonts. And there's a ton of different stuff that we have to learn about these fonts in order to render them correctly, including things like kerning and placement of the fonts vertically and horizontally to make sure that it all spaces out correctly and looks correct whenever you are rendering it to the screen. So. This is why I am doing a whole series on it. It is a big topic and there's a lot of stuff that we will go over. Anyways, there should be a link in this video to the font rendering series. Click on that, start watching that to see the first episode in which we will be doing traditional bitmap rendering first. Also, before I leave, I would like to mention that we do have a discord. I would love it if you guys would join. The link is in the description. And it's, I want it to be a community where we can share ideas, share what we're working on. So if you guys are working on some cool, interesting games, I would love to see that. And then build a community where if we have questions we, and we want to grow and learn, that we can just post it there and benefit from this Discord. So link in the description, join that if you are interested. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the font rendering series.